do a related rates question. For the reaction of two N2O5s and uh, it breaks up into four NO2s and an O2, and at some point N2O5 is being used up at a rate of, in this case, 1.2 times 10 to the negative four moles per liter, that's what the capital M stands for per second, at what rate is O2 being formed? So related rates are actually pretty straightforward. You're gonna start with the rate you were given. That's 1.2 times 10 to the negative four. This is moles of N2O5 per liter per second. And you're going to multiply it by a mole ratio because this is a number of moles of N2O5 and we want to convert it into O2. We look up here at the coefficients and see that we have one mole of O2 being formed for every two moles of N2O5 that we use up. If you're into dimensional analysis, the moles of N2O5 cancel, and we end up with moles of O2 per liter per second, which is the rate at which O2 is formed. What you do is you take this number, 1.2 times 10 to the negative four, you multiply it by one over two, and you get your answer which ends up being 6.0 times 10 to the negative five moles per liter per second. And that's of course of O2, although since the question said, what is the rate at which O2 is being formed? It's kind of implied. Now I do want to point out that this is a rate of consumption and this is a rate of production. I personally ignore negatives when I'm doing related rates because I think that the positive or negative is implied with the word production or consumption. Some people would say that since this is consumption, we would put a negative number here because you're using it up and it's going down. And then you're gaining one mole of O2 for every two moles of N2O5 that you're losing these negatives would cancel each other out to give us the positive production answer. But again, I just ignore it. And then I say, well, I know this is being formed because the reactant's being used up. So products are produced. Anyways, let's go on. At what rate is N2, no, at what rate is NO2 being produced? Well, we're gonna do the exact same thing. That's 1.2 times 10 to the negative four moles per liter per second of N2O4 and we are producing four moles of NO2 for every two moles of N2O5. That times four over two gives me 2.4 times 10 to the negative four moles per liter per second. And we're done. That is also production because it's a product. Cool, let's do it again. In the Haber process, which is this, what rates of consumption of N2 and H2 correspond to ammonia production at 0.6 moles per minute? We don't even have the liters here. It doesn't matter how many liters there are in the container. The container, we can assume, has a fixed volume. In any case, we are given a rate of production of ammonia, that's in moles per minute. And if we want it in consumption of N2, we multiply by the coefficient in front of N2 on top and the coefficient in front of ammonia, the thing we were given information about on bottom. That gives me 0 0.3 moles of N2 per minute. We'll do it again for hydrogen times. We use up three moles of hydrogen for every two moles of ammonia that are produced. So we end up with 0 0.9 moles of H2 per minute. These are rates of consumption because this was a rate of production. Huh? Yes. And lastly, in case your teacher wants to throw some stoichiometry in here, we have this reaction, but we're going to give you a number in grams instead of moles. Well, don't worry. You can convert it to moles using mass over molar mass. The given mass is 24.3 grams of magnesium. And the molar mass, according to my periodic table, is about 24.3 grams per mole. So we have about one mole of Mg consumed in 80 seconds. The rate of consumption of Mg here 
is 1.0 moles for every 80 seconds. I'm gonna use my calculator to get you a number for that. One divided by 80, that's 0 0.0125, 0 0.0125 moles per second. Now we are asked about the rate of production of H2. So we take the rate we were given, that's moles of magnesium per second, and we multiply it by one H2 per one mg. Oh, well that's not exciting. We end up with the exact same number of moles per second being produced as moles of magnesium consumed. The real difference is that hydrogen does not weigh 24 grams per mole. In fact, if we want to convert that to grams per second, we can use mass equals moles times molar mass, 0 0.125 moles of H2 times 2.02 .02 grams per mole gives us, oh, I typed 2.01, oh, I'm just gonna go with it, 0 0.0251 grams of H2, that's still per second, because this was per second, and I just copied that number of moles and converted it myself. Cool. The idea being that you need to convert your rates to moles, or moles per liter per second or minute or whatever, if you want to use the mole ratio. There is no way that I know of for you to convert grams per second of one thing into grams per second of another that isn't basically a coded way of doing this. And I think dividing it up into these small steps makes it easier to look at too. Relative rates, you can handle them. I know you can. Best of luck.